Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, last we left off, we uh, had ourselves an assembler and refinery, and uh, we needed to set up power to make sure that we could actually use them. That's been set up, and we're currently sitting at roughly 900 kilowatt hours out of a possible 3 megawatt hours. Um, so at the current rate at which we're going, because the refinery's on, uh, we'll be fully depleted in 3 hours, which is... It's all right, but within those three hours we should get some power online, so this should get filled up a bit, and it's all good. <clears throat> now, apologies for my voice. Uh, you may or may not be able to notice the difference, but I'm ill, so I'm going to have to just all that. Um, yes, so we've got multiple projects that we could uh, do some work on. We can increase the amount of solar panels we have so that we can increase our power gen when the sun is around. Uh, the sun's getting to the position where we can get power again. Um, we could make it more sophisticated by placing solar towers maybe on the ridge of this crater so that we can get power quicker and for longer periods of time. Um, or we could increase the number of batteries we have, we could uh, flesh out this interior here. Um, but the thing that I want to work on today is upgrading the buggy, or rather replacing it. Um, but I think that we don't have enough materials in order to replace it. I'll need to do some calculations, and I've got a lovely notepad and a pencil. No, someone's stolen that. Oh, no, it's okay. All good. Um, and we're going to do some things. Now, we did try to use a datapad last time, and that didn't really work out at all. I'm just going to see, you know, uh, build another... Interesting. The basic assembler can't build. This one can't either. Where did I... Oh, oh no, it's in components. I really need... Yeah, back to you. Okay, yeah. So we're going to create a datapad, because last time I tried to use it, which was to show down how I was uh, making notes and doing calculations, um, it, it didn't hold any of the inf uh, any of the information it had, right. There, pad. Name. Test. Right. Okay. Right click to read. And it's not there. Well, that was pointless. Uh, disassemble the thing. That's going to be annoying. But I could put the the working out into the video ed uh, in editing. Maybe. Uh, so what we're going to start off doing is we're going to start tearing down the buggy to the point where um, only the things that we need are left. Right. So so we're going to get rid of most of this um, mo most of the armor blocks. We're going to get rid of these atmospheric thrusters since we don't need those. Recover as many materials as possible. And then we'll see where we're at then. So I'm going to start taking down things. And we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've teared down most of that. Uh, got a handful of supplies. The ore detector that was on here is is no longer on here. And for now, I'm just going to stick. Uh, I'm just going to stick it back where I found it. Well, it was on top, and so therefore wasn't going to sit there properly because it was being supported by the umber blocks around it, which is not terribly good design to be honest. But whatever, we'll stick it there for now. Uh, right, so let's have a look. Still slanting forward. Maybe some more. Maybe it's just because weight distribution. Uh, so here we've got the survival kit. Which is lovely. Uh, and then here, uh, this very small structure here is the oxygen generator. In the middle, We've got some conveyor belt nonsense, and is that a parachute? 
Or set something up. What's underneath? I'm curious. So I check. Yeah, it's a parachute hatch. Well, we don't need that. Yeah, just kill the parachute. Why don't you? Uh, we also don't need this. So technically, the auto tactic could go in there. Um, yes. I don't think that can be. Hopefully. Uh, so that. No, because that underneath. At the. Is this down here? That 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 block in the middle is that the hydrogen? Can't be cat. Okay, so the hydrogen thruster ended. So yes, that is hydrogen thrust. So based on my calculation, oh, is okay. Um, right, we've also got a beacon which is not active. We've got a battery, which is going to be a bit difficult to replace, but I think we can find an alternative method of power. Uh, and then we've got the rest of it, which is fine. This is just a large conveyor, isn't it? That conveyor junction takes up way too much room. In fact, why, why does this one, why is this required? What's it connecting to? They're connecting the cockpit to the oxygen generator. Yes, it is. But not to the survival kit. No. Hmm. Okay, well, the, that seems relatively pointless, though. I guess you could add some more ice into here and that would work out fine. Um, but this is mainly not, so we can get that as well. See, it's all working out fine. Um, let's stick all this in the It's going from assembler to assembler there. We don't want to do that. Uh, now the main problem will come up in that we don't have enough inventory space. Uh, I'm going to stick this stone in here so it gets used. Uh, right, we should be getting power now, right? We are gaining power. Just a point of when will it hit the... I guess not all the solar cells are... Yeah, so just over half should mean that we're gaining power again. Okay, so as a note, the lowest amount of power that we've had is about 878. 178. And then we'll check we'll check when it goes uh, night time for um, uh, how much we get. Is if we don't get enough, then we're going to run into some... Anyway. Uh, right, so we have we have a battery, we have a survival kit. I really want to move the survival kit to somewhere not here. And if we do, then we can stick a uh, cargo container there instead. So that's one. So first of all, kill the antenna. Then going to stick a light armor block there so that we can support the survival hit. Don't really need a stick for now. Start welding that. Don't think anything is uh, requiring this to be support. No one created this badly, right? Cool. 
Now, if I was sensible, I'd be creating a new vehicle from scratch. Um, I, we're not going to get into full flight uh, today, though I might be able to increase the thrust output. No. So, it's currently, we're making it so that, first of all, we've now got a survival kit, uh, survival kit here. It should allow me to recharge here. Excellent. And then, in addition, L2. Uh, okay, we now have our survival kit, which means uh, we can heal, we can uh, respawn here, it's all good. Um, and we're just left with this. Right. Let's go about. Well, I suppose that we can get rid of this. We've got our, uh, we've got our uh, oxygen hydrogen generator, uh, which is currently our only means of generating oxygen or hydrogen, so we're going to want to build another one on the base at some point. Um, but I want to build two things. First, of, uh, first up is a hydrogen engine and a cargo container, uh, medium. So medium cargo container can be stuck on the back here. Whatever fashion thinking it. Oh. Yeah, that's a conveyor block. Twenty for that. Grab the. I haven't set up my uh, hot bars correctly yet, so Let's see. Air junction. Yes. And you. Oh yeah, because that's a small grid, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. And then, then we want a connector. Four, and then we want small conveyor blocks here. Go grab tractor tool. Right, so let's go grab things. Actually, we're going to first of all test to see if we can place down the you. Uh, yeah. So we want to be able to place this in such a fashion that we can get uh, materials to and from the cockpit, and also to and from the rest of the ship. So if we place the hydrogen engine there, and I think we have enough components for it, we might need to build a power cell. Uh, and then we can have these two separate into one. I'm going to need some materials here. Thank you. Yes, I know. If it gets removed, I'll have to do a new one. Um, stop doing it. I really hate working with small kids, they're a pain in the ass. Um, if we place that there, that should link up. And we can place the other conveyor there. And we can place another one there, and that, that will link up through the hydrogen engine to the rest of the ship. That's good. Um, now the next problem... Next problem is we're going to want to place a medium cargo container. We're going to want to place Hmm. 
Uh, so if I place it like uh, so, if I orient it like this, right, like we've currently got here, <clears throat> we can stick a conveyor on the end. But really, only if we extend additionally to here. A second. These are different shades of the same color. God damn it. Um, so we can place this here. But the only problem is we need to be able to get it so that this will connect up to the rest of the network. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Uh, which we can do this orientation. And then on the end, we can stick a connector and then we can use that to connect to the base in case we want to. Uh, so here's, here's a question. Can I see... Yeah, this can carry 3,300, which is more than what we can carry anywhere else at the moment. Which is good. Um, right, so if we... If I go weld these up, uh, then we'll be back in a second. Is there anything else I want to put on here that we're going to do? Um, well, supposedly we want things underneath here, right? What small grid things can we place underneath? No, I don't think that's. Uh, yeah, so we'll stick uh, everything here, and then we'll be back in. A, well, I'll weld everything up, and then we'll be back in a second. Yes. Okay, so we have welded up everything uh, that we've placed down. So we should be able to. Uh, if we're in the cockpit, we should be able to move the ice to the cockpit, or to ourselves. Uh, which means that that connection is is good, and we're relying on the hydrogen. Engine. Currently, we have the hydrogen engine. Well, we have the hydrogen engine going through our ice supply, so that we can fill up the battery. Uh, though I do want to keep an eye on it because it does churn through ice pretty quickly. So we're going to need to go and do some mining uh, to be able to get some more ice. But we now have a way to refuel our battery. Brilliant. Um, even though it's a bit inefficient. Hydrogen engines are not the best way of producing power. But it's better than sticking a solar cell on top and waiting at, uh, waiting for the sun to come up. Though we're going to do that anyway. Better to have multiple forms of uh, security. Uh, right, so now we need uh, to place a couple more. Grab those. We're going to want an antenna. You even have... Oh yeah, of course you have a small version. So we're going to want a small antenna. We're also going to want to rebuild the ore detector. And what else was there? We need a gyro. And then we're also going to need to do this one. Uh, we're going to need to hook up uh, this. So I'm just going to place a... a small conveyor here. You don't rotate in the way that I want you to. Uh, right. Stick this. I'm going to... Right. Motors, yeah. And still tubes. Component. Not small tubes, is it? It's construction component. Look. Right. Okay, so that should mean that I can now manipulate things inside here. Uh, so, for example, grab gun from the cockpit. Yeah, excellent. Right, so this should mean that we have a much higher uh, cargo capacity, which is good. Uh, right, let's stick this back with the integrated plates again, because uh, he can self. Yeah, some. Good. Uh, we can also place down a beacon. Uh, yeah, we're going to want a beacon. Right. Let's 
But let's do this properly, shall we? So we want a beacon on the hydrogen generator. Uh, we want an antenna. And we're on small grids. And a uh, ore detector, though we did, though we've already got the materials for that. A gyro. Yeah. Need three more computers. Build. Four. Okay. So why am I sliding? Stop sliding. This is no time to slide. Okay, so we can place a beacon down here. Well, that up. Thank you. We can stick the uh, antenna here. Well, that up. We've already got the ore detector, so we don't need to build that. We can then stick the gyro down here. Where I need the computers. Thank you. Middle click is a thing that you can do, yes. Uh, right, that's the gyro. And then that should be everything that we need, right? Because we've got an antenna, and we've got a beacon, we've got a gyro, and we've got an ore detector. Yes? Yes, I believe that's it. I feel like I'm missing something. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, that's a first. Uh, right, and so now what I have to do... I have to replate this. Which is going to be uh, somewhat entertaining, because I, I can't, can't rebuild this. The maker did. Um, although, another thing we could do... How big is the hydrogen tank on this? Okay, so a small ship hydrogen tank is still big. There's no smaller one. No. Does the interior tank of the hydrogen engine and the thrusters use that? Maybe. Um, right, so for, for our next trick, I'm going to need a full space. Uh, let's, let's use a regular colour, shall we? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to need a build space which allows me to get underneath the vehicle. So we're going to be able to build space there. Vehicle. Slopes. That should be gentle. And we're going to back up. Uh, mark. Okay. Go place a couple more. I do not feel safe with that. Uh, which means that we can get underneath and we can start messing around with adding additional thrust. Uh, let's, let's go grab four more things worth of layers. Because we're going to stick. So let's say we want to stick two more hydrogen thrusters here just so that we can get the lift. Um, and then we're going to stick. One facing forward, one facing back, one left, one right, so that we can um, inertia dampener. Uh, so that's going to be. I do not have large. Um, one, two, three, four. Additional two for. Build planet capacity reached. You what? Interior plate. Interior plate. Oh. Well, we'll see what we can build, and then we'll go back for more. Two. Go back in black. Thank you. Box. Thank you. And then we need hydrogen.
We can sort out the uh, lateral hydrogen just in a sec. Right. right. We're gonna need four metal grid, two large. I weld up there. I've forgotten whether I welded up there. Um, no, I didn't. Why am I? Why am I making these? Okay, yes. Then we place these down. Then we weld them. Requiring us to get uh, four large steel and four metal grid. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are back. And we have uh, some cobalt, which the refinery is now refining. Which means we can now produce... Uh, metal grids, so we can now make our own hydrogen thrusters without relying on the ones that we're killing previously. So, we've got our three hydrogen thrusters here. Uh, I'm leaving this bit open for now, just in case I want to throw something in there. Um, and I've thrown together the connector. Ooh, lovely. Um, now, the connector has a, a lovely thing that is the reason why I built it. It has a conveyor port here. And because we want uh, lateral thrusters, oh. plate. or interior plate actually, uh, I don't think we have any interior plate, which means we're going to build some. Right. Uh, so we, we've got a bunch of uh, components to create, uh, but after they're done, and after we stick this all together, we should be able to have Hydrogen thrusters working. So we can place a hydrogen thruster here, which will allow us to push forward. We can place a hydrogen thruster here, push to the left, here to push backward, and here to push to the right. And uh, combined with the three on the bottom, that means that if we hit inertia dampeners, the only direction in which we will not be dampening is going upward. No, is is uh, yeah, is going upward. We won't be able to slow ourselves going up, but gravity does that for us. And if we really need to, we can just flip over and deal with that that way. So now all I need to do is build all of the hydrogen thrusters. Which is, uh, I don't think we have all the materials for them. Jack. This is going to be extremely unbalanced. Yes, and then the last one. Can we get the last one? Nope. We need 15 construction components. Uh, and that's all. That's relatively quick. Build those. Build plan is a bit weird. I'm still not used to using it. So, uh, though it is helpful, um, it, it's got some things I'd prefer it didn't do. Like, I prefer... It checked my inventory to see what I've got, so I don't have to empty it out every time. Uh, but anyway, we've now got hydrogen thrusters in all directions. This is a bit stub-nosed, but we can probably do something about that later. Um, and we need to put a hole, but we've also now got a conveyor, and I also need to rename everything. Uh, again here. Panel. One forward, one left, one back, one right. Excellent. Stick these on hydrogen terminal. Um, don't know why the timer block's there. No idea why the timer block is there. Uh, we've also got an order sector. Rename that to just regular. Got like A and B. This bugger gets engine and gyroscope, beacon, antenna. Cool. Uh, so we're currently enabling broadcasting. On both of them, which is not the best idea. If I'm broadcasting. So if I'm not broadcasting, can I still... But if I am broadcasting, I can remotely connect it. Yes. Okay. Uh, right, so we're going to rename this Luna Buggy. You. 
Uh, what else? Uh, yes. Make this so that it shows the ship name. And then turn off the beacon. Eat it. The antenna can stay on for now. And that should be all. Yes. Yes, I think that's it. Uh, we need to set up the connector between 3 and 4. Uh, connector on and off. Connector toggle on 4. Right, that should be it. So, if we unpark. Oh. Yeah, here's, here, here's one thing. We are going to here. Put hydrogen thrusters. Mm -hmm. Thrusters. Save that as a group. Go into the G menu. Place this on and off. So now, move around without the hydrogen thrusters interfering. Uh, I'm going to enable inertia dampness for this test. Hang on. How much ice do we have? So I'm going to go uh, off to get some ice. Uh, which is over there. So we're going to reorient ourselves so that we're facing that. And then uh, we're going to fly off into the distance. And then we should just be able to descend using gravity. And since we have a lot of braking thrust, it means that we won't kill ourselves upon entry. It's brilliant. And then we can turn off the thrusters, turn off dampness, park, and then we're at our destination. There we go. Uh, but now we are a lot more heavily reliant on ice in order to keep this thing running. Um, so I'm going to need to harvest quite quite a lot of ice. Uh, so, we'll be back next episode when I find something else to do. We'll probably work on uh, getting a, com a cargo system for the base so that everything runs on the same conveyor network instead of me having to manually do things. And then we'll have a look towards what... Um, probably increasing our power supply at the moment. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. I'll probably stick some armor plating on this thing so that it looks a bit better than what it currently is. Um, but until the next time, my name is Zero Jake. End transmission.